go. I have a little surprise. <laughs> I have a little surprise. There's a kitten. I'll tell you guys the story later. Oh, look at her. Lyra, your other mommy's coming. Me and Kenzie found her, so hi. Oh, look at her go. <laughs> look at her go. Are you gonna go in your litter box? She's so good. She's so good. What a good little kitten. Hello. Welcome back. I have not filmed a video since the horse show, which I still have yet to edit, and it is December 1st. So, I figured I'd start off this video. It is getting dark. It is 4.48 p.m. It is obviously December 1st, so it is Wednesday. Um, I am moving the horses on Friday. Tomorrow evening, I am going to drop all of my tack and my trunks and everything off at the new barn, so I'll obviously take you guys with me for that, which will be super fun. And then Friday morning, I took the day off work so I could move the horses, so I will load the horses up on Friday morning. I'm probably gonna leave around like, leave my house around 7.30ish so I can get onto the barn, get them loaded up and then get them there and then have like all day for them to settle in. So that's the plan. As far as everything else update wise, I really don't have a whole lot because I haven't ridden the horses in pretty much since the horse show. I've ridden Renita twice since the last horse show, which was the, what, 12th and 13th, or 13th and 14th of November. So they have had over two weeks off. Um, Renita had had more than that because I didn't do anything with her for like two weeks before the horse show. So <laughs> I had one jumping lesson on her with Paula and then I did a flat ride on her um, the week. I basically rode her once a week for the past two weeks, so they've been, for the most part, pretty much on vacation, which has given me a really nice vacation as well. We've got the move, Zeke, I, th I don't know if I ever actually announced this on my youtube but i did on my instagram so if you do have instagram and you're not following me go follow me over there um, i post updates and all of that kind of stuff way more frequently than i do here or even tiktok um, instagram's kind of like the main hub that's where i started so yeah it turns out zeke had a pretty nasty bacterial infection um and it wasn't anything that the vet was necessarily concerned with. So he ended up going on a, I'll have to look at the medication when I get to the barn, but it was a medication that could only be given to treat the specific bacterial infection he had. And he got it from obviously being in the barn, um, poor circulation and he seems to have a, a autoimmune issue or a some type of Im immune issue that keeps him from being able to fight off these normal like bacteria and stuff like that that other horses can which explains why he's the only reason the only horse in the barn that has had the cough and that did have the infection, at least from what, what we know. So we're very confident that's what happened, not that there's any issue with the barn. It's just he's one of those horses that is going to have to have his hay watered down and be in an open place. So ideally, I would love to transition him to being turned out 24 seven. However, I do not think that he would be happy with that, at least going into cold turkey, putting him into 24 seven turnout right now. I think that that will be something that we will definitely want to look at in the future. However, in the summertime, he will not be able to be outside 24 seven. Um, he would have to be 
outside in the evenings and inside during the day because he had lost all of that weight over the summer because he was just basically out stomping at flies. So unless I have a grass pasture, I can put him in, um, which there are grass pastures here. So this will be a good test to see kind of how how that, that works at this new barn we're going to. They might be able to go out a little bit on grass um, here and there, but essentially she, has to build some more pastures because she's getting in a ton more horses, not just mine, but probably like six or seven horses are coming in this week. So, which is super, super cool. But anyway, that's kind of the situation with Zeke at the moment. So he was on seven days of this antibiotic that had to be injected via IV and I didn't know how to do that so the people the there was a girl at the barn who was a vet tech and she went through and did all of that so she took care of that for me and the other portion of it is the vet wanted him on 18 pills of SMZs twice a day so 30 to 36 a day for 14 days so he still has those left and then from there, he should be good to go. I'm glad we at least were able to get this taken care of before we go to the new barn, so that way he's not feeling icky and moving. Um, I had thought about moving him sooner and moving him right away, but then I didn't think that he would be super happy. He's not a good horse being alone and especially on the trailer, if he's being loaded on the trailer first, or if he realizes he's alone on the trailer, he will try and shoot off the back of the trailer and will pull the lead rope straight out of your hands. That has happened to me many a times, so now I really don't load him unless I have gloves on. Sometimes I forget, but I've tried to, to just avoid the whole situation and just load him on last we're in the middle so yeah anyway that's getting into anything else but I am losing light so I think that's really all that I have going on with that being said you can no longer see my face so I am going to see you guys once we get to the barn essentially I'm just packing up all of my tack and everything and um, loading it up into my truck so I can be ready and prepared for Friday when I move. I did buy a, another, like one of those Husky trunks because obviously mine is going to be too big to fit out in front of the barn, but with three horses, what I found at this current barn, I just did not have enough room for all of my stuff in one trunk. So it, it was just, it was, it was too much. So I get to put a trunk out in front of each of their stalls. So I already had two at home. I went and bought another one and I'm obsessed with it. So I will link it down below to where you can find it. I believe it was like $99. I went to Home Depot to get it, but um, I'm sure I can find a link on Amazon or something of that nature. So I will try and find it and comment the link for it down below. So with that, I will see you guys in just a second. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. That's yours. Don't forget your, um, these are yours. Oh, yeah. getting a call. Lovely. Who's calling me? Oh, Hi. it's my Grammy. Okay. No. All right. Oh, you too. Love you too.
Bye bye. Hi. 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 I don't get any more nightly kisses now. Okay. Now that you're leaving, I no longer get nightly kisses. Well, you just have to move with us. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about it because this 575 is draining my bank account like no other. Say those things to me. Otherwise, you know, I'm gonna be packing your shit up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll refrain. Don't give me false hope. Oh! Nice butt. But hey, you guys heard it here first. <laughs> She said it. Twas not a lie. No. Not a lie. Alright, what can I help with? I feel like I should drag this. The only thing I actually need help with is loading the uh I'm just gonna move this sucker out of the aisle way. Maybe. What the f is it? Sorry, I'm gonna have to bleep that one out. help if there was some light out here you know aside from just your truck huh? I said it'd really help if there was some light out here aside from just your truck <laughs> this shit is heavy we lost our light we did lose our light so drag it a little closer Jenna Mason. And then tons of SMDs with which he does not like. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But I think we got you feeling better, didn't we? Didn't we? He was coughing a little bit yesterday when I was out at Hold on. I'm about to go investigate. No, uh, uh It's coming from over here. Oh. Oh my god. There they are. Is there a whole litter? Yep. We won't come over, Mama. Oh, there's some orange ones. It's okay, baby. Well, then don't leave it by the tire of my car. They look just like Lyra. If they're all over here, why was Lyra under my car? I don't know. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here, baby. Come here. Oh, <laughs> come here, baby. God, they're so tiny. Now I feel bad. <laughs> feel horrible. Okay. This is what Lyra was doing all morning. Was she? Yes. There's like a calico looking one. Is there really? I feel terrible now. Mm. She's got a better life than she would. Oh have. yeah. That's why she hid under my car. She's like F this barn. I know. Part of my French. Not me trying to take another one. <laughs> I don't know. We've been sitting here for a couple minutes. 
I think you're trying. Oh my god. How freaking adorable. There's a lot of them. All right, what else do we need? Um, we need two, Is any of that stuff up in the corner yours? See how well that goes. It's been a while. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video. I am currently getting my truck packed up to move my trunks and everything to the new barn. Is the trunk I was telling you guys about. Go. It's got like a little carrier or whatnot, which I really like, and it's super deep. Um, this is the Husky one I have, which doesn't have a carrier. It's the same depth, it looks like, and pretty much the same trunk, just kind of without the carrier, so. That's, that's what I'm using. Okay. I'm gonna get all this out of here. Because I actually don't need a lot of this stuff. Okay. That can all stay. going to organize all of this but yeah that didn't happen just like Vlogmas Day 1 didn't happen <laughs> whoops clippers okay I am going to I gotta find their sheets so I gotta look for those so I'm in the truck I just got gas I am heading out there now it is five o'clock and yes, I'm super excited. I'm gonna go get everything set up and um, yeah, so I've got like my car and my truck jam packed. Well, my truck jam packed, not my car, but I will see what I can film when I get there. My hair. It's super light, but they're all pastures, which you obviously can't see. pastures up there and then there's technically the outdoor but he's using it for turnout and here's the barn that's the indoor and the barns on the side
And be nice. We are all moved. I'm thrilled. There's a couple more things I have to get before I can get like everything officially like organized and stuff. But uh, all the horses settled in super nice. I got there around about 11:30, and they all ate. They drank water. They all pooped. And yeah, so I got my trailer park. Yeah, I'm like super happy to be back next to Debbie again. I love the barn owner, Maggie. She is so freaking nice. She is going to take such great care of the horses. We are trying, we were trying to figure out their feeding schedule and stuff. So that took a lot of the time and she had two other horses come today. So in total five new horses moved in today. So I was kind of hanging around just talking and watching them. Got my food. So I'm super happy. I love the barn. Love Maggie. Love the property. So I think it's gonna be good. I have a good feeling about it. Very good feeling. Very, very good feeling about this whole situation. There's definitely so many good good things about this barn. The stalls are actually a, a significant increase in size from where they're at now which is good so they'll have more room to run around not run around but move around and stuff 
stuff. Uh, I don't know, I feel like the stalls at the place we were at before, I mean, they're definitely a lot smaller, but God, they had to have been like 10 by nine, maybe. I don't know, they were really small. They were not big at all. But these are probably 12 by, 12 by 12, 12 by 13-ish. Not quite 12 by 14, but they're definitely bigger, so I think they'll, I think they're happy. They all seem happy. Zeke was really happy. Um, we kind of strategically placed them to where Zeke would have kind of that Dutch door situation. We have a super fun weekend planned. Kinsey is coming to stay the night tonight and through the weekend. Obviously tomorrow we have to go pick up Jimmy and then we're gonna go get lunch. We're gonna go get Mexican and have some margaritas and then we're gonna go back home and have like a Christmas weekend. She's gonna help me decorate my house. We're gonna bake cookies, watch Christmas movies, listen to Christmas music. I'm so excited, so freaking excited. If I do go to the barn on Sunday, I'll probably go out later in the evening, but I don't know if I'll go out. The vet's coming out on Tuesday. I think I had said that in a previous video, but yeah, so we've got a very fun weekend planned. And I'm gonna go home and try and get caught up on editing all these videos because, yeah, I have already failed Vlogmas and I, it was, it's day three. I haven't even posted a video. I've already failed. It is what it is, but yeah, I will see you guys when I get home. Oh my God, this is so funny. Zeke's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> He's like, what is this? I don't think Zeke's ever seen a donkey before. <laughs> Snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. What are you doing? When everyone's around, we really share <laughs> this holiday. <laughs> yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special. Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter.
Special cause I'm hoping for that we're falling 